Hello guys, welcome to Amit Things. In this video, we will see how we can easily run PHP on Visual Studio Code. To run, you need to install Visual Studio Code as well as XAM Server. We have installed both of them on our system and added the link in the description so that you can install both. So now let's first go to the XAM directory. We installed XAM in C drive. XAM. Now go to stdocs. Here, let's create a new folder. Let's keep the name Amit Programs and open this. Here is our path. Right click, create a new PHP file, new. Write the name of a PHP file. Let's say the name is demo. Change the extension dot PHP. Now when you will keep the cursor here, it will ask you to change the extension. Here it is. If you change a file name extension, the file might become unusable. Are you sure you want to change it? Yes, it's totally fine. We are changing from txt to PHP. Yes. Yes. Now we have a demo.php file. Here you can see. On keeping the mouse cursor, demo.php, PHP source file. So now let's start the XAM control panel. Go to start, type XAM control panel. Here it is. Click on it. Now you need to just start the Apache server. If the following is visible, status change detected running, that means our server is running. Minimize this, minimize this as well. Now open Visual Studio Code, go to start, type Visual Studio Code, press enter. Now add a folder. Which folder? The same folder. Copy the path from here. Minimize this, click on add folder. Here paste the path and press enter. Now click on add. So here is our folder Amit program and here is our PHP file. Now let's now let's add some PHP code. Here it is. File save. Now what you need to do go to the browser. Let's open localhost, press enter. If the following is visible, that means you have successfully installed XAMPP. Now we just need to set the path that is only Amit programs slash the name of the file. Let's add it Amit programs slash name of the file if you remember amit.php. Now press enter. Sorry, the name was demo.php. Press enter. Here you can see. Here you can see your output is visible. First PHP program. Now let's change it and add something new. Now save it. Let's see how it will run. Now just go to the browser. Refresh. Here you can see 10 is visible. Let's add a new line. A new line, use echo and press the BR, which is the HTML tag. Now I'll save it. File, save. Now refresh. And here it is. We have added a new line. So, guys, in this video, we saw how we can easily run PHP on Visual Studio Code. To run PHP, you need XAM server so that you can start the XAM server and run the program on localhost. Thank you for watching the video. If you liked it, do not forget to subscribe to our channel Amit Thinks.